I've spoken to you about that privately, then we will make sure you get that, that kit. Um, our next um, planning is going to be in the area with um, Astrid. And so um, I'll be getting a book with her. I'll be in the area on October the 3rd, if the Lord says the same, the first week in October. All right. Good morning. So can you guys, I know we just did this, but if you could just type that you can hear me, you can see me. Um, as people are coming on, I'm going to have, um, we're going to start with uh, five minutes of intercession and we're going to get right in. I, it seems like there's a little lag behind. So if you know someone who needs to be in this class, Go ahead and pop them over the link. Good morning. You're getting kicked out. Okay. All right. I think we got a good um, thing. So let's see. Um, all right. So I'm trying to add Queen to my live. And if this platform doesn't work as well, we'll go over to free conference call. But I wanted to try this. Um, versus giving out the free conference call information. You guys tell me which one you prefer. Uh, some people may prefer um, free conference call. You keep getting kicked out of the live stream. Okay. It says my connection failed, so I can't bring anybody on. All right. All right, so Godiva's going to come and pray. Okay, that's fine. She can come here on the camera and pray. Um, I'm going to try to put some background music on. I don't think I can. Go ahead. And I want you to pray for me. I want this to be an example of intercession. So as we start, we're going to start right into the class. Um, she's going to intercede for me. Um, just as an example of what intercession looks like and she is put on the spot but that's okay because we're in boot camp and we're all a family and that's why we're in the spirit and that's why you have to have your heart right you have to have yourself ready because you don't know when god's gonna call on you so it's good to just walk in the spirit stay in the spirit okay go ahead oh god we thank you father we bless your name you might want to oh god, we raise your value you, we bring we bring apostle before you oh god that you're Give her the words to inspire, illuminate, and invigorate and encourage, oh God. Lord God, that the word that she come that comes forth out of her belly, God, and out of her mouth, oh God, Lord God, will fall on good ground. Lord God, that the word will be receptive for your glory, oh God. Lord God, that they will rise up, oh God. Lord God, that they'll retain the information that you are given unto her, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, for the strength, oh God, that you've given her, oh God. Lord God, we thank you for the energy that you've given her, God. Lord God, we thank you for the power, oh Oh God, that you are giving her in the mighty name stolen. of Jesus. Connection oh God, we thank you, oh God, and we bless your name, God, for you are worthy to be praised, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, Father, for the word, God. We thank you, oh God, for the learn and the lessons, oh God, that flows out of her belly, oh God. Lord God, we thank you, oh God, for the download, the daily downloads that you give her, oh God. Lord God, that she's able to go out, God, and give that to give that word amongst the regions, oh God, amongst the body, oh God. Lord God, that it'll equip us, oh God, to go forth into the regions, unto the nations, oh God, that we'll go forth, oh God, and proclaim the lost, oh God. Lord God, we thank you, oh God, for strength, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for rest, oh God, that you've given the mighty woman of God, oh God, to give your word, oh God, to give the rhema word, to give the logos word, oh God. Lord God, with your dunamis power, God, empower her, oh God, even the more, oh God, to go forth, God, and to proclaim the lost, to equip the people to go forth and do what you say, God, to lay the blueprints out, oh God, to, to disciple the people, oh God, that they may go out and proclaim the loss, oh God, that they have the proper tools, oh God, to go forth, oh God, and win the, the, the hopeless, the deserted, the, the heartbroken, oh God, and the downtrodden, oh God, the, the shameless, oh God, Lord God, that they would encourage, oh God, and invigorate, enlighten, oh God. 
And for your glory, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we give you honor. We give you praise for your worthy. In Jesus' name, Lord God, amen. Okay, you going to type it on there? Can you type it on there? You on my phone, so you can. Okay, well, there was only a few people anyway, so we're going to shift over to free conference calls. I've seen people. Okay, that's good. Uh, Torrance and Pastor were trying to find it, and they couldn't find it. it. They just had to click the link. So can you message them when you're in the free conference call? Okay. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Turn it down. You sure? Because I didn't hear it kick in. I don't hear the AC running. And hit the ceiling fan. The too. recording has started. Okay. Okay. Well, Tracy, you got it quick, didn't you? <laughs> Tracy, you on it this morning. Good morning. You own it this morning. Good morning. Somebody got it quick. You jumped over here quick. God bless you. Okay. So um we're gonna we're gonna go right on into it. And um while every people are looking for it, and I, I guess we just can't I'm gonna maybe he can do it. Maybe you can do we can do both places. How about we do that? If you can get me Mevo there. And we can do um, free conference call. So wherever they jump on, they, they won't miss it. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. So you told them on Messenger that where we at? We on the free conference call? Okay. Okay. So um, what is intercession? Um, I don't want to just do this class where we do just a lot of going over definitions, intellectual study. But as I was meeting with the Holy Spirit this morning, asking him what he wants us to go over, we were talking um, about um, the having the heart of God. Because when you have the heart of God, then it, it, it changes your whole perspective and it changes what you do and what you don't do. And so one of the most important things about interceding or standing in the gap or going in between is making sure you have the heart of God. And so um, we're going to discuss a few things. We're waiting for folks to come on and get that message that we've shifted over to free conference call. You're going to turn um, that Facebook Live on on Mevo just in case. Uh, they don't even have to download the app. They can just call in. Good morning. Okay, so let folks know if you've already come over that we're on the free conference call. And I'm trying to work out my resources and my preferences because there's something that I can do that I would like to do. do, 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 do. Okay. And so, good morning as you guys are coming on. Good morning. Um, I was talking about this book by Dutch Sheets. I have a copy of that for you, Astrid. And those who are Hamp Hampton local, that's going to be doing the teaching and training. I have a copy of this book. Um, you don't need to purchase this book. Um, it's not really a, it's really a study guide. Um, I have a copy at each hub. So we really don't need to go into that much details because it's really just a lot of questions. It's not a read through book. It's a study guide book, but we'll be going over some key concepts. So the most important thing to get in intercession is to be a person who carries the heart of the father by way of Jesus Christ, the son. And so we know that Jesus Christ is the great advocate. He sits on the right hand, making intercession for us. And so we also follow the pattern of Jesus and we begin to make intercession for others. Now I do have a few notes that I'm going to go over. Um, I think I think I can do. I think I got the scriptures up here, but just in case. So I'm going to start with First Timothy. 
uh, chapter two, verse five through six. For there is one God, one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. So that's first Timothy two, five through six. So we follow the example of Jesus. I've heard in certain circles and certain thoughts that um, intercession, you know, I, I saw somebody with a YouTube video, you shouldn't intercede and you're going to get attacked and all this stuff. So we, we follow the example of Jesus. And so Jesus um, taught the disciples how to pray, how to intercede. And so we're going to follow that example. And it actually says Christ, our example, for there is one God, one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. So we have to start with biblical perspectives. Whenever we're looking at what we should and shouldn't be doing, and we're trying to establish um, an apostolic system, a system of how we're going to conduct ourselves, we look at the relationship between Jesus and the Father. And so if you're looking at how, how, how should a spiritual son behave, then we want to look at how Jesus behaved with the Father. How should an apostle behave? So we want to look at how Jesus um, how Jesus behaved. How should an apostle uh, raise disciples? We want to look at how Jesus trained his disciples. How should uh, uh, someone establish um, the church or give gifts or do healing or do miracles? All of these examples, Christ is our example. So we see that he is a mediator between God and and man. And so we too will become mediators. We bec will become almost like the word, a meeting point between God and certain people that we're, um, that we're ministering to. You're distracting me. So, um, good morning, everybody. Good morning, June. Good morning, Astrid. Good morning, Carmen and Tracy. God bless you guys for coming on. I'm glad Astrid is here. It's very important that if you're going to um, be teaching and leading, that the first lesson you get is how to create a firewall of intercession. Okay. It's very important. So I'm going to be moving quick. And what I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to keep teaching until I don't have any more nuggets to teach. And then what you can do, if you have to get off, you can get off, you can come back on and this will be available. I believe pastor's recording this. I believe he's recording it. <laughs> I hope he's recording it so that we can go back. Um, you can go back and watch it. I'm going to check in to see. I believe he's just doing a straight recording um, of this um, lecture. So that's why I was trying to be on Facebook so that I wouldn't be limited in the length of time that I was video recording. So I like to use Facebook because it has unlimited time that you can Facebook and then people can go back and watch it. So there is a there is a purpose behind my madness. For those who don't know, why do we jump from this one to this one? Because I wanted to have unlimited ability to keep teaching and not have to stop because with free conference call, you get to a limit and you have to start deleting. So a lot of the lessons that we did on, on free conference call, I had to go in and delete. There's not... It's just not a platform that can handle unlimited amount of um, recordings, video recordings, audio recording a little bit, but I like to have video sometimes. So um, what is intercession? So it, to intercede, the word intercede means to go between, to reconcile, to mediate. So if you're taking notes, you want to teach, if you're going to be leading others, if you're going to be teaching others, if I ever ask you, can you train intercessors? Those faithful of you guys that are here, I may ask you at some point to train intercessors or to be the intercessor uh, of the house and train other intercessors. You want to be very simplistic. Uh, and all it means is to go between, to reconcile, to mediate, to go between to reconcile, to mediate. And so we started off on the last um, free conference call uh, on a Facebook Live with Godiva interceding for me. And she was talking to the Father on my behalf. She was going between. She was reconciling me back to the heart of the Father and she was mediating, okay? 
I have a few things in my notes what intercession is. I believe it's advocacy. Key word is advocacy. Advocacy versus what it's not. And if you um, are interested in getting these PowerPoints, I'm going to release these PowerPoints to our to our hub directors and they will have access to them. And people who would like to get these, I think I have a $19 for the class PowerPoints and downloads. Um, and you can you can access that through awnworld.com. So awnworld.com. Someone was asking me, where do I find out what's coming up with the ministry? Well, we do have a full website. It takes a lot of work to maintain it. So I'd love for you guys to just jump on there, make suggestions and what you'd like to see. There's um, new developments coming. We just had a new landing page made. There's a members area that's going to be AWN um, Covenant Partners only teachings and trainings. All right. So intercession is advocacy. Somebody, somebody, um, somebody type up their advocacy. I want to make sure you guys are with me. It's advocacy. It's mercy and it's truth. What intercession is not is accusation and judgment. Intercession is not accusation and judgment. And so a lot of times we have people being real weird and being real peculiar. And they're saying that they got this um, revelation while I was praying. I saw sister so-and-so doing such and such. And so what I, what I want to say to that and just to cut all of that off, because I just don't see Jesus doing that. I don't see Jesus. Um, in fact, one of the good examples with Jesus pr saying he prayed for Peter. He said, I pray for you that your faith wouldn't fail. So he may have seen that his faith was shaky, but Jesus prayed that his faith wouldn't fail. He didn't expose it uh, in a sense that I'm not going to cover it. I'm not going to pray so that it doesn't happen. So everybody see the difference? I'm advocating for this. I'm, I'm advocating mercy. I'm advocating truth versus I'm accusing you and I'm judging you. I saw this in my prayer closet. I saw this going on with this person. So whenever we do anything in the kingdom, we have to do it like Jesus did it. And so when I was in the shower this morning asking the Lord, well, what do you want me to talk about? Because before I meet with you guys, I like to meet with the Lord. I never feel confident coming and meeting with anybody on any platform, on any capacity, if I haven't met with the Lord. I just don't feel good. I just don't feel right. I don't, I just, it, and if it means I'm a little behind, I'm a little late. Um, if it means I have to shift stuff, if it means the program, uh, because I just don't like to, I like to bring the, 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 the heart of the Lord and the heart of the father. So I don't, I don't know what other people do before they minister. I don't know what your pattern is, but if you're following after my pattern, that's my pattern. Uh, and I saw Jesus steal away to pray and meet with the father before he met with the people a lot of times or in between his meetings. Uh, and I feel a, a great anointing on this training today because people have to um, be redirected. And what the Lord said to me, he said, teach the people to love me. And I said, Lord, how do I teach people to love you who already love you? <laughs> they already know you. And he said, no, no, they don't know. They're not carrying my heart. They have to carry my heart. And when they carry my heart, they'll know my ways. They'll know my systems. They'll know what to do and what not to do. So there is a place in God where you move out of religion and you move into relationship. People want religion. They want a list of 10 ways to pray, 10 ways to be an intercessor, 15 ways to do this. And that's okay to the general multitude. But when you're talking about being a leader in the kingdom, you have to be able to hear from God and move with the heartbeat of, of God, the heartbeat. 